Hello everyone, my name is Simon Wang. I'm the product and solution manager from Mopavi Fusion Solar. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the latest residential inverters from Mopavi Fusion Solar, the Sun 2000 L1 series inverters. This inverter is currently available on the market in Australia. And this inverter starts from 2 kilowatts up to 6 kilowatts. I'm currently at the one stop warehouse in the branch. Today I'm going to be unboxing this inverter, Stan 2005 KDL L1. Check this beautiful machine. Really light, only 12 kilos. It's really light for a hybrid inverter. And uh, you see I'm not a bulky guy. I can still easily handle it. I believe it's a really easy job for a lot of installers who are much stronger than me. There is no LCD screen, but you still have the LED lights to show you the status of the inverter. All the local commissioning and the monitoring can be done via a Fusion Solar app. Let's check the details of the inverter. Here you have the AC port. To be used with the AC plug in the box, make the installation really easy. You have the COM ports for the connection for the smart meter, the connection with the COM of the battery, also the connection with other third-party device where mode bus. You have the antenna port to be used together with the antenna in the box for the standard building Wi-Fi of the inverter. You also have the USB ports. If you want hardware to the router or if you want 4G, you can purchase a 4G dongle or WMFE dongle separately for this inverter. Here you have the connection board for the battery. You have DC ports for the PV. You have two amp PPTs, one string inputs per amp PPT. At the end, you have the inbuilt DC isolator. This is DC PV2 type DC isolator, ERAC listed, fully compliant with AS5033, amendment 1, amendment 2. Okay, now let's check the technical features of this inverter, which make it different compared to the previous version. Same as previous version, this inverter is battery ready, so plug and play. The inverter is compatible with the LG CAM high voltage battery, also the soon to be released Huawei Luna battery. The inverter can also be used with the retrofit EPS box, which will be available by the end of this year. The maximum input current of this inverter is 12.5 amps. The output of this inverter is 4.99 kilowatts. Same as the M035 inverter from Huawei, the inverter is equipped with AI-powered arc fault circuit interrupt functions, which is enabled by default. So this is to show the confidence from Huawei on the algorithms which won't be triggered by the false alarm. Talking about the safe roofs, people also want safe DC voltage on the roof for the people on the roof. 
we can achieve that with the new generation of advisor from Huawei. This is our solution for safe rooftops. The new generation of Huawei optimizer. 450 watts. It's much smaller and lighter compared to the previous version. For 10 kilowatts array, the average parking time for the new optimizer is only 3 minutes with no additional device like a safety box. Thanks to the high speed DC line communications. Also, the module physical layout mapping functions where Fusion Solar app with the AI algorithms only take another 10 seconds. The optimizers can be used both on full optimizer solutions, also the partial optimizer solutions. With full optimizer solutions, you can just simply turn off the AC. This will guarantee zero volts from the modules with the optimizer. OK, don't wait. If you have any sales and technical inquiries, feel free to contact your Huawei distributors. Or you can contact us via the email below.